Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we are looking at some unique build ideas for your Animal Crossing Island that maybe you've never seen before because personally I haven't. Uh, first of all, if you submitted your island for this video and it took me one entire month to respond, that's my bad. I wish that I could tell you I've been doing productive things. I have just been playing Fortnite, but here we are. Here we are and I'm ready to dive into this video with our first submission of the day. Look at how beautiful this is. This whole island has like really cool naval themes going on, a very like port city, but look at this little campsite island. I've seen islands before to create views, but this one is just so beautiful and natural and something about it just really spoke to me. I adore this idea. I love the vines too, especially. I think they, I don't know, they add so much texture to the view instead of it just being an empty cliff face. You know what I mean? I also love all the nature going on. There's a combination of furniture and plants on the island, making it feel super lush and it just looks amazing. 1000 out of 10, uh, we have to stand. Okay, just like with the last island, this one has a really nice overall theme. And if you want to visit these islands that you're seeing in my video, the dream addresses are in the description. I definitely encourage it. Um, people are just so creative and it's really cool to see how cohesive an island can be aside from just these unique build ideas. What I love about this one is that we've got this cave, right? And you're like, okay, cool. Like, this is a national park island. Of course, it's gonna have these foresty like cave areas, but that's not all folks. There is a pipe here that leads to an actual cave. Look at this, where you can see the bear. There's an actual bear cave as this interior build. Is that not one of the coolest things you've ever seen? I love the combination of exterior with interior builds using pipes. I think it's so creative and this one is so expertly done. I mean, are you kidding? Even the walls matching the way the cave item looks? Literally genius, shut up. Up next, this island has a ton of movie and book references and they're all listed on the bulletin board if you wanna check that out. But I wanted to show off this Lord of the Rings inspired build, it's the Shire. There are literally little hobbit holes here. I love the designs. I think this is so cute. It has that cozy vibe that I associate with the Shire. It just feels so cottage core and homey, so cozy. It's just, ah, uh, uh, this is so adorable. I love the little pathways between the houses. I just, wow, look at it. This stuff is so cool. People get so creative with how they use different items in their designs, like this oven up here being like a little chimney. It is so cleverly done. And like I said, this island has so many like movie references from Coraline to Lord of the Rings to everything under the sun. It is so cool. Go check it out. Like just uh, go check out this island. Again, with the incredibly creative island themes, this whole island is like water. It's like in the ocean. So there are islands, but there are also just houses underwater like this. So you can go see a little coral reef like this. Look at how cool this, I feel like I'm cheating by walking on the water. But anyway, yeah, there's not much choice. Look at this little turtle too. Oh my gosh, even Sebastian. <laughs> This is so cool. You can go and live your mermaid dreams here with all of these underwater homes, little islands complete with trees and wildlife. There's rocky shoals here. There's just so much to appreciate. Like I said, so many of these islands, because, you know, I'm looking for unique ideas. Of course, a lot of unique entire islands popped up. This is your sign to go and check them out. I mean, look at this. You can be a mermaid princess here. What is not to love? Everything is beautiful. I also appreciate that it's raining. It really adds to the watery ambiance of the island. Okay, so what's cool about this island? Also, by the way, if you really loved back in the day when islands were more simply designed and not like overwrought, this is the perfect inspiration island for you. It is so beautiful, but it's not over decorated. Like it's not packed or cluttered or anything. So anyway, just to throw that out there. But the concept here is that the exterior Interiors are designed this way, you know, like simple, but you can tell like this is gonna be a carnival. The interior is actually a carnival. So you get to experience 
like fairgrounds, but indoors. Let's go check it out. Let's go see. So here is the main room, kind of like a little courtyard, a little plaza. You can get your balloons, your cotton candy. It's welcoming you in. And uh, this is labeled garden. So you can go in there to go to the garden. Let's see what's over here. This has a desert vibe, judging by the little picture on the wall. And this has a spooky vibe. I guess we're going spooky. Look at this, like a little haunted Ferris wheel. How creative is this? I also love the park gates here, like where you'd line up. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. And the downstairs is like a little tailgating area, food trucks. You can come here for lunch. I love this. It literally reminds me of the state fairground. And then upstairs is the little game area. This is perfect. I love this whole concept. It's like just this house is an entire island to visit, honestly. But if you want to see the Wild West themed carousel and the garden themed tilt-a-whirl, you know what to do, go visit this island. You know I always try to incorporate some ideas that are great across different island themes. And I think this one is great. We love a hedge maze. I'm literally considering putting one in my witchy island. I just think this is so cute. Of course it lends itself to this kind of elegant vibe, but you could make it work for any island theme, in my opinion. You could make it spooky. Like I said, I wanna make it witchy for mine. I just think this is so beautiful. I also have to recommend that you visit just to look at this island's map because it is gorgeous. I don't show the maps on screen just in case a creator ever decides that they don't wanna share their dream address anymore. That way I can delete it from the description. It won't be in the video, but it's truly something. This island is immaculate. Also, hi, mid-video check-in. What games are you playing right now, aside from Animal Crossing? I'm playing Fortnite and I'm buying Tears of the Kingdom today. What a whimsical and happy island I've landed on now. I wanted to showcase this egg mining area. First of all, I just very rarely see people make use of any bunny day items. So I love to see the eggs in play here. I do think that they are underappreciated. A lot of us who were here for early Animal Crossing, like March, 2020, were kind of traumatized by bunny day, but that's okay. Look at how cute this stuff is. I love the mining cards. I love to see mining stuff in general, but you know, notice the colorful tracks beneath the train. I think everything about this is adorable. We are losing some eggs along the way, but that's okay. I just think this is super cute and creative. It's something I've never seen before and a good way to fill your beaches, which are notoriously hard to decorate for a lot of us. Okay, so I don't often showcase like city-ish islands, but I'm sure you've seen a city skyline. What if you had a city skyline, but make it sci-fi? Look at how cool this is. It's like a space city. The effect is especially potent here at night. I mean, we literally have a UFO here. The stars are out, aliens are abroad. We've also got some creepy villagers on this island, like the robot frog, whose name I cannot remember right now. So, you know, there's a lot going on. I also love the peach surprise box inside the little chamber. It's like so creepy looking. It's like an alien egg. Oh my gosh, did you see that shooting star? What the heck? This is magical. I think this is so cool. And like, there's a lot to see here. A lot of illumination, a lot of different colors going on. It's so bright. And it's also kind of giving me, I don't know, like steampunk somehow. I can't explain it. I don't know how to describe the vibe that I'm getting, but it is so cool. You are not ready for this next idea, but before I show you, I wanted to thank all of my channel members. Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate you all. If you're interested in becoming a member, you can check out the perks, including handwritten letters from me at the link in the description. Thank you all so much. And our last idea of the day. This is so funny to me. It is crab volleyball. These guys are so athletic. They are so talented. I also just love a good little volleyball area on the beach. And again, I know beaches are hard, so I wanted to throw in a couple of unique beach ideas. If you are tired of just having your basic, you know, ball set up, include some crabs or gyroids even. It makes the whole thing just so much better. Thank you all for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.